If you're looking for cheap, reliable coins for players like you see on the screen, visit my friends at fifacoinstoday.com. Make sure to use Nick at checkout for 10%, yes, 10% off of all of your Xbox or PSN coin orders. Hey boys, welcome back to another episode of the Nick Nation Road to Mediocrity. Today is all about squad building. So in this episode, my nation, you beautiful people, are going to vote in a complete MLS team. Starting from the strikers, all the way through the midfield, all the way through the defenders, and the goalkeeper. So without further ado, let's just get to the voting. I think you guys are excited to bring in some new uh, players into the club. I'm going to put a minimum price of 1,000 coins per voted in player, which means uh, I'm going to pick goalkeepers that are all under 1,000 coins. Then if we move to center backs, the Nick Nation can only vote on center backs that are under 1,000 coins. If we work our way up through the voting process, and we're at, let's say, the center attacking mid or striker options, and we have... I don't know, let's say three or four thousand coins left. So maybe we've bought in some players that are dirt cheap. If we have three or four thousand coins left at the striker or center attacking mid positions, I will bump up the price. So I'll say, okay, for my strikers, uh, let's go vote on players that are under two thousand coins. So we might have more options up top. Although I'm thinking the, 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 the disparity between, you know, a thousand coin strikers and then the really good ones like Eddie Johnson is like a thousand coins and thirty thousand coins. So, I haven't really looked into it, but uh, let's go vote for a goalkeeper. All right, so as you can see on the screen right in front of you, these were the three votes. I'm pulling up now the actual voted in players, and it was a relative landslide. Uh, Dan Kennedy took the votes at 52% or 96 votes total, and I am in agreement with that, thank goodness, because a few of the other players selected have some holes in their gameplay. Mainly, Bill Hamid has 58 bloody positioning. If you have a look at that, he would have been a nightmare to use, guys. Just, it would have been letting in the most idiotic goals. Uh, I think the issue here with Nikolov, although he's a pretty decent keeper, it seems like. 32 speed is a pretty bad uh, stat. And 57 kicking is pretty poor. So, I'm very happy that all of you guys saw kind of what I was seeing. I, I, I don't want to influence you guys, so I never say anything. I just put up goalkeepers and let you guys vote but all of you guys basically I would assume chose him because he's the most well-rounded keeper you know what I mean all right so as you can see in the lineup we are voting in center backs into the MLS team now we're doing something different we did it uh, last episode and it worked quite well just to kind of speed up the process uh, we've put in uh, six five or six center backs into the voting for the Nick Nation to choose and what we've agreed on is the two top voted center backs will get pushed into the team now here are the ones that are you know that are that are that are able to be voted in I have a few duplicates etc etc now uh, as you can see on the screen I'm just looking at it now for the first time oh my god man we put in Ka and Nesta as trolls because I thought they looked so bad but I'm like hey I'll put them in there to give you guys options and they fucking got voted in Oh my god, this team is going to be so shitty. Yes, I realize Nesta is a bloody legend, but his stats indicate that he's going to be a fucking nightmare to use in this game. Anyone that lobs the ball over my defense is going to fucking annihilate me. I've got this fucker. You guys voted in him. He's got 66 defending. Instead of... Okay, like, have a peek now. Oh my, I can't even, honestly, I, I can't even handle it. So, and the craziest part is the voting, um, you know, as you can see on the on, on the screen, Nesta got 76 votes, Ka got 76 votes, I've never seen that before. Identical votes, uh, both 28%, and Gonzalez, who I thought would be the clear winner, because I think in real life he's awesome and he's got great stats in the game, uh, is at 19%, he only had 50 votes. I mean, well, have a look at the screen, instead of picking this beast who I think is a great, great player, like I mentioned seconds ago in real life, six foot five, medium, medium work rates, 77 heading. We went for Ka, who has bloody 66 defending, and then where is he? Where is he? We went with Nesta! You guys voted in fucking Nesta? 40 pace! Okay, so as you can see on the screen, here are the right backs and left backs that could be chosen. So we're doing the same, the same process as we did earlier, where the top 
voted right back will get put in the team and the top voted left back will get put in the team so i told the the nick nation something that i know a lot of you guys in the comments are going to write like say nick well if you only have one option in the polls what do you do if you want a left back and a right back well what i've been telling my viewers or, or, or people in the nation that are voting is say have a look at the poll first if you see let's say you want admires the right back to be voted if you see him high up the polls and already voted high then go pick the left back that you'd want to be voted in and it worked out a charm so as you can see on the screen Franklin, the the tanky beast American right back, uh, you know, pretty decent stats. I wish I bought that one. Uh, I don't know if you can even see it on the screen, but uh, with a Sentinel card. He got 31% of the votes, uh, 69 votes total. And at close second, believe it or not, was my left back. And it was the Canadian, Morgan, with 25% of the votes and 55 votes. A close second and an honorable mention goes to Benitez, who I feel is a very good left back as well. Probably better than Morgan, but I go with what you guys vote. Um, and I'm proud that you guys voted him in. He's a Canadian, so I'm happy with that. Nevertheless, let's go by ourselves Franklin and Morgan. So as you can see in front of you, uh, the nation now had the choice of picking a left winger or left mid and right winger or right mid for uh, the new MLS team that we're building. And as you can see on the screen now, Sad the Lebanese God, we all start, or I started laughing my ass off because I had no idea there was one more than one Lebanese player in Ultimate Team. Uh, you guys may know me as being half Lebanese and half Dutch, so... Um, we put him in the, in the choices and the nation spoke. You guys want me to put my background, you know, my, my, my blood, uh, in my MLS team. So at left wing with 29% of the votes is Saad. He's going to be our left winger, um, or left mid actually. And the closest right mid or right wing is Chavez with 13% of the votes though, uh, which isn't the greatest, uh, 33 votes, but the closest right mid after that was Russell Tybert uh, with 15 votes. So we will be getting Saad and Chavez. All right, so as you can see on the screen, the nation now got to vote for a center defensive mid, although there really is only two uh, on the screen here, uh, and a center attacking mid for the team. And as you can see, uh, loaded up onto the screen, Clint Dempsey took the votes with Landon Donovan being right behind him. And the closest center defensive mid to win, uh, I cut out the, the, the total votes, which is kind of sad, but nevertheless was Alonzo. So Alonzo will be uh, the purchase center defensive mid for this MLS team. Now, I screwed up here a little bit. Clint Dempsey, yes, he got 32% of the votes and I should be purchasing him, but I put a limit of a thousand coins. I was searching a whole bunch of him and they're all being bid under 700 coins. Uh, then I go look at the market and they're being, they are all purchased, as you can see, I'll bring the screen back for a second, for bloody 2200, 2100, so we can't afford him. So what we're gonna do is we'll go with the second highest rated center attacking mid, which is Landon Donovan. So just a little bit of a rejig, it's something we had to do because we can't go out of our criteria. It was only a thousand coins for each player. So we'll get Landon Donovan as a center attacking mid slash center forward and uh, Alonzo as a center defensive mid. Okay, so as you can see in front of you now, the last bit of voting was for my two strikers. So just like the past few votes, we go with the top two voted in strikers. There wasn't too, too many strikers in the league that I thought would be worth it. The one that I really, really wanted to at least include in the voting was Eddie Johnson. I know how overpowered he is and I haven't used him this year so I really wanted to try him but he's selling for anywhere from 14 to 16,000 coins so maybe when he becomes when we have more coins to splurge I'll put him in a voting process and see if you want me to pick him up anyways as you can see on screen uh, it doesn't seem too much of a surprise to me the legend that is Thierry Henry uh, went top and I am honored to get him I'm very excited to use him I've used him every year randomly throughout ultimate teams uh, history and he's amazing legend in real life one of my most respected strikers so happy to have him in the club and Obafemi Martins I think is gonna be a really really fun pickup he came in second place with 29 percent of the voting uh, you know a player that has a left foot but has a five-star weak foot with 93 pace and you know decent dribbling heading and shooting will go great as a partner to Thierry Henry in my opinion so let's go buy him so as you can see, here is the blank slate for the new MLS team. Cue the hyperspeed mode of team building.
And there we have it. All done and dusted. So that concludes this episode, boys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that a lot of people expect gameplay in every episode, but I thought this would be a really fun episode to just make it a team building. You know, Nick Nation votes for a full MLS team. And uh, you know what? You don't have long to wait. Tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll be uploading the video of this team's gameplay, the introduction of this team, etc., etc. And if you did enjoy the episode, as usual, please leave me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, we'll catch you beauties on the flip side.